newspapers, and magazines. A public news announcement brought to you by the TCC Library. Modern news for a modern age. Explore, discover, succeed. Are you seeking knowledge, my friend? At today's bustling colleges, even the hometown captain of the football team must learn to master library and research. And that means knowing the difference between newspapers, magazines, and journals. Collectively, these are called periodicals because they are published periodically, a lot like how your favorite radio show will periodically release new episodes on the air. Let's explore the differences, shall we? You may already be familiar with newspapers, and even know your local neighborhood newspaper boy by name, like little Jimmy here. From a research standpoint, it's important to remember that newspapers write with a journalistic perspective on a specific time and a specific place. Reliable stories are based on eyewitness testimony. And remember, folks, newspapers aren't peer-reviewed, but we'll get into that a little bit later. These youngsters here are gathered around a fine example of a magazine. Remember... Magazines are written for the general public, and are generally written for entertainment. Magazines do have an editor, and they can be appropriate for use in a research paper, depending on what your instructor's research requirements are. Magazines can be useful for citing current events, or very new topics. Now boys, don't forget to recycle that magazine when you're through reading it. Uncle Sam needs you to do your part to beat back the axes. Now we're getting to the lifeblood of college research, journals. Journals come in two varieties. Trade journals, which specialize in news and information for professionals in a certain occupation. They are a credible source, if written by experts, with deep knowledge in the field of the subject areas. Here, these doctors are adding valuable brain power to their professional field. <laughs> the second variety of journals are scholarly journals. Scholarly journals involve research and are often longer than those in popular magazines. Journals with fully documented references are more scholarly than those that do not include a list of references. Now let's talk about peer-reviewed journals, also called referee journals. Peer review is a formal process in which experts in a field review an article before it is published in a journal. Peer-reviewed journals are the most reliable periodical that you can use in a research paper. How can you spot a peer-reviewed journal? Well, there are many ways, my friend. You can look up the publication in question with Ulrich's Web at the TCC Library website. Ulrich's Web is a database that will tell you if a journal is peer-reviewed. We have carefully rendered the facsimile of the library webpage below in technical color to bring to you instructions on how to find Ulrich's Web. Start by mousing over Article Databases and select A to Z Databases. Scroll down to the letter U. Click on ulrichsweb.com by Serial Solutions. From here, you can search using the title of a journal or publication. A peer-reviewed journal has a refereed shirt next to it. Have questions? You can contact our sponsors, the TCC Librarians, who will now be rendered in technical color for your amusement. <laughs> 